What is going on my mates? Hope everyone has been very well. I realize that this video could not have come at a worse time because today is April Fools, but rest assured this is not an April Fools Day video. This is a serious video. This is a very real video, something that I've wanted to talk about for a couple weeks now. This has been planned, so not an April Fools joke, but I kind of wish it was. This video is going to be all about allegations made against bands in the best possible way to respond to allegations made against you, your band, whatever. Here's something to keep in mind throughout the course of the video as you are watching this. This is just my advice and I do implore you to take it with a grain of salt. If you disagree with me, I think that's great. I would actually encourage that because that promotes discussion, it promotes growth. As I'm sure you know, a lot of bands, artists, musicians, etc. have been outed, accused, alleged of sexual misconduct or just assault in the last five years or so. And this has definitely gone on way before this, but within the last five years, there has been an influx of these accusations, allegations, and it is something that is absolutely worth discussing and mentioning. And whether or not said allegations are true is not the point of this video. The point is I see so many terrible apologies in response to these accusations. And I wish to give my best advice to upcoming musicians and band members on how to deal with and respond to these things, whether you did it, didn't do it, whether it's fake, real, whatever. I just wish to give you advice. Saying, I was young, stuff happens on the road, man. Those are not apologies. Those are explanations, justifications, and that is not a way of saying, I'm sorry. That is just explaining away what happened. With that being said, the case study that we will be looking at today is the fairly recent Tiny Moving Parts controversy. If you don't know what happened, if you haven't heard anything whatsoever, I'll quickly bring you up to speed. So recently, a Twitter account was created very, very recently, and they made a tweet, probably multiple tweets, but at least one, saying that the lead singer of tiny moving parts assaulted them in the year of 2013 so at least six years ago at this point as well as a former member of the front bottoms in 2015 something like that so we have very little to go on right but it is imperative that i remind you that the point of this video is not to debate the validity of the allegations the point of this video is to examine the response that dylan from tiny moving parts made because he has given the best apology that i've ever seen in my entire life so that you say and just because he gave a good apology, we should just automatically forgive and excuse the alleged actions and just blindly support tiny moving parts despite all of this? No, not at all. Absolutely not. If you wish to continue supporting Tiny Moving Parts, here's what I have to say. I think that's great. If you don't wish to support Tiny Moving Parts anymore, guess what, dude? I think that's great. That is your prerogative and decision that you must come to as an individual based on your conclusions that you draw from this situation as well as your principles and your morals. I am not here to tell you that you are right, that you are wrong, because the topic that we we're discussing today is subjective, and when something is subjective, that means it's up to interpretation, opinion, therefore there is no right, there is no wrong answer, there may be a moral and immoral answer, but guess what? Morality is also a subjective issue. So guess what? Whatever you think, I have no opinion on it. You're an individual and you need to form your own opinions. Before we dive into this, all that I ask is that you do not harass the band or the individual involved because they're anonymous anyway, but, but just don't harass anyone involved in this. Just respect everyone involved. We're going to go paragraph by paragraph through this apology and I'm going to explain why I think this is a very solid apology and not just a post full of explanations, excuses, and reasons as to why they are innocent or should be forgiven. So here we go. Here are the first two paragraph statement made by Dylan Matheson or something like that from Tiny Moving Parts. Hey everyone, last week I found out that an accusation of sexual assault was made against me by an anonymous individual. I apologize for how long it has taken me to respond. I really wanted to take time to address the claim with openness it deserved and do right by the other person involved. I sincerely apologize to this person who was harmed by my actions. I value this person's privacy and want to do all I can to respect them while validating their experience however they allow me to do so. It was never my intention to violate anyone or make them feel unsafe. Since this happened, I have learned a lot about the differences between expressed and implied consent and also now recognize how some of my behavior could have been harmful. In these first two paragraphs, I think Dylan did a very good job of four things and those four things are he took time to reflect on what happened, what was said, and didn't give an emotion 
emotion-filled response like I see a lot of the time. He says sorry with no justifications or reasons for his actions. Now he does say it was never my intention to hurt anyone, which isn't a justification. He says I never meant to, but I realized that I did and I understand that I did and I'm sorry. He also wishes to validate the victim's experience to the utmost extent that he possibly can. He also expresses clear understanding that his actions have caused someone emotional pain, distress, etc. In the next two paragraphs, Dylan says, also for the sake of transparency, I want to share with you the steps that have been taken since last week when the actions were brought to my attention. I looked into the best way to get in touch with this person and provide them a space to safely share their story while retaining privacy and confidentiality. I reached out to a professional mediator who has experience with sexual assault survivors and restorative justice and they agreed to get involved. Mediation was offered and the person responded that they wanted a week to think it over. During that time, I saw a therapist who has helped me to better understand how my actions in the past could have had harmful consequences after a week they came back and said they weren't ready to go through mediation which is 100% their right and I validate and respect that it's their story and their choice to tell it whenever or if ever they are ready the door is always open if they'd like to pursue mediation in the future one thing that really sets this apology apart from a lot of apologies that I've seen not, now people have done this before but I don't see it very much hardly ever Dylan immediately sought out corrective action because you see a lot of people say sorry I, I know what I did wrong but don't really do anything to show that they've learned anything in any type of way. Dylan has backed up his words with actions and that goes a very, very long way. He expresses willingness to grow and learn from this situation. He even offers a platform for people to go on stage and speak out about these type of issues at their shows. He also said that all of the proceeds from their upcoming tour will be going towards some type of charity. Those are in the other paragraphs that I'm about to read, but I think that's absolutely outstanding and the other band members are absolutely making a sacrifice as well because they won't be getting any money from this tour. So I, it's very clear that this is a very serious apology. Again, I'm not saying, oh, we must forgive actions immediately because this is a good apology, but this is just a good apology. And finally, he says, moving forward, I'd like to make some positive and restorative steps, including donating the proceeds from our upcoming tour to Peace Over Violence and Ray and the Joyful Heart Foundation, work to raise up marginalized voices by giving them time to speak on stage about the important issues and table at our shows, commit myself to, to ongoing therapy and learn more about how I can do better while holding myself and others accountable. I apologize to everyone who has been hurt, disappointed, or triggered by this news. Please respect the person's privacy by allowing them to remain anonymous and refrain from messaging or harassing them. Thank you for taking the time to read this, Dylan. I see so many apologies made by bands, band members, musicians, etc. that basically read as, I'm sorry that for whatever reasons my actions hurt this individual. I don't even know why. Now let me explain away why I did those actions and provide all these reasons and excuses. And that just clearly is not the case here. And that is one other reason why this apology slash statement stood out to me so heavily. Just one more time, I wish to drive the point that just because this is a very good apology does not mean that these actions should just be forgiven, swept under the rug, forgotten, because obviously something did happen. That's why there was a statement made. So just keep that in mind. The point of this video is not, oh man, Dylan's innocent. What a great apology. No, that's not the point. The point is evaluating the psychological aspect, just looking into this whole thing and just talking about band member allegations and responses. If you do wish to continue supporting tiny moving parts fantastic if you do not wish to support them anymore fantastic all i ask is that you form your own individual informed opinion on this topic and if you encounter someone that does not agree with you my best advice would be to say hey let's discuss this and discuss why we disagree and maybe come to a conclusion because that's how we progress that's what promotes great discussion that's how we evolve as a society and a group of people insulting someone in calling names and just saying that they're this that because of this or or that just just makes no sense and promotes discussion in no way shape or form thank you so much my mates for watching this if you enjoyed it and want me to do another video like this i can cover a really really bad apology how to not apologize i'm sweating so bad right now dude that my car is actually an oven but thank you all so much if you did like this video comment below or, or something take care and have an outstanding monday mr ts standores